goodness tonight. I want us to be encouraged mutually. Disappointment is the result of misplaced hope. Disappointment is the result of misplaced hope. Isaiah 49, 23 says, those who hope in the Lord will never be disappointed. Disappointment is when our hope is in someone or something other than him. We were singing about hope. We were singing about our soul. We were singing about the anchor. And this is an opportunity for us who've experienced disappointment to allow there to be a shift within our soul, that our hope will move away from anything or anyone and be anchored in him. And let me give you a visual. Marianne and I were invited to the British Virgin Islands several years ago. There was a catamaran yacht that slept five couples, and one couple couldn't make it, and so we got a phone call that said, hey, we had someone cancel, we'll pay all your expenses. So one week we had free. If you've never been to the British Virgin Islands, it is beautiful. And we slept on this yacht for seven days. We traveled St. John's, all the different islands, uh, snorkeling, it was beautiful. We had to sleep on the boat. Every night, our captain would let down the anchor and would tie the ship's ropes around a tier. In fact, he got some of us, he made us his crew, and he would help us or tell us how to tie it. Here's what I noticed while we were in the boat. The object in the sea never moves. And the boat is tied to it. But the boat is rarely ever motionless. And the waters can get rough, and what happens is the boat is moving. And it gets jerked back and forth. But the reason why it's jerking isn't a bad thing. It's jerking because it's hooked to something that's immovable. And you could experience discomfort because of the movement happening in the boat, but you're really not being moved. Sometimes we think we're being moved when we're anchored. Some of the shaking in your life is proof that you're tied to an anchor, tied to something that's in the sea that isn't moved. It's the ocean that's moving and therefore shaking the boat, but the boat is actually immovable because when you wake in the morning, it's in the same position as it was when you went to sleep. Some of you have gone through things and you're thinking, this is a little rocky, this is a little shaky. I'm here to tell you, you've been paying attention to the wrong thing. You've been looking at all the movement and all the motion and all the topsy-turvy in the boat without realizing the position of the boat has been maintained. Your position as a son and a daughter has been maintained. Who you are in Christ has been maintained. Everything that God has provided for you has been maintained. Your marriages, your family, your future, your destiny, it's all being maintained. Pastor, you don't understand the shaking. I do understand the shaking. I'm trying to tell you the rope is tied to the one who doesn't move. Just because the boat is moving doesn't mean you are in trouble. It might be an indication that you really are anchored. Because if you weren't tied, you'd be lost. You'd be lost somewhere in the sea, lost somewhere in the ocean. Truth of the matter is we were never lost because we were always tied to that anchor. Anybody recognize the shaking and the topsy-turvy that happens in your life? Can I help you? Peer over the boat and see the rope tied to the anchor and go, oh, this is shaking pretty rough, but we ain't going nowhere. Shook, but safe. Turned upside down, still safe. In trouble, still safe. I don't have time because this is night of worship. And I'm going to go sit down. But church, there is not just grace to repent. There's not just grace to, to be regenerated by the Holy Spirit born again, not just grace to say no to sin, not just grace to, to really serve God. There's also ridiculous grace. It's the grace that makes the devil go, shoot. No matter what we do to them, they will not curse or turn against God. 
That's ridiculous grace. That's ridiculous grace. He has no defense against ridiculous grace. Ridiculous grace just says, the devil has done everything that ought to make you just hate God. And you go, all my life you have been faithful. You come from beat up backgrounds. Your family's been through stuff. You've been through stuff. And yet you still say, all my life I have been faithful. Nothing makes hell matter than a believer who's been beat up and still worships God. Job knew something about it. We're not even close. Lord, we give you a shout of praise. We put our hope in you tonight. We put, come on, shout your praise to him. I will sing.